Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So right now I'm doing my makeup and I'm getting ready for, first I have a meeting to go to at four and then I have right after that Frontier Fiesta, which if you don't know, at UH, every year we, there's like a three day festival. It's like a carnival and then all the sororities and frats pair up to do like a little play. And so DG's doing a Cinderella play with pie cap. I'm gonna be vlogging all three days of that. And then Saturday, which is like the big night of Frontier Fiesta, literally like huge T-Pain is coming to concert. Like what? Don't know how they managed to do that. And there's also a watch party tonight for the UH basketball game because we're in the Sweet 16, I think. Don't get me wrong, I literally do not watch basketball. So there's a watch party going on downtown for that. And on next Monday is big little reveal so i'm really excited for that so this is going to be basically like a days of my life sorority edition vlog because i feel like i'm i have a lot going on with dg this weekend so it's going to be sorority edition but i'm going to finish my makeup and i will check back later when we're at frontier don't hate me but mm, i did forget to vlog yesterday I was literally in such a rush. I had so much to do that I literally just forgot to grab my vlog camera. But it's okay because I wasn't even there for that long. And it was the first day. So it was like nobody was there. It's okay. Tonight's Friday night though. So it's going to be a lot more packed. I got Starbucks this morning. This afternoon. It is 12.40. Anyways. I got a grande shake and espresso. And instead of classic syrup, I got vanilla syrup. Because they don't charge you extra if you like replace the syrup. So this was only like $4.60 or something, and it's a grande. I didn't change the milk because I thought the shaken espressos are already coming with like oat milk, and but I'm just going to tell myself that it's oat milk, and then my stomach won't hurt. Also, it was so cold yesterday. I was wearing shorts. Everybody told me to wear pants. I did not believe them, and I was suffering all freaking night. Also, the watch party was last night, and I forgot to vlog that. But we didn't end up going. We ended up just going to Pluckers because it was too cold. We, we didn't want to be outside. And they won, so we're going to Elite 8. I think the next game is Saturday night, and then I'll take y'all along for that. But as for now, I'm going to go get ready. I promise I will take y'all along with me. I promise I will not forget. Definitely wearing pants tonight. I'll show y'all my outfit. Okay, bye! So I'm getting ready now. I thought I would share what I'm doing for my base because I have some new makeup that I'm trying. This is a ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation. Um, I hope it's the right shade. I already put some concealer down on my problem areas where I have like redness and blemishes because I do not know if this is full coverage or not. And I put a pump and a half. I'm also gonna try this new brush, e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush. Let's see how this blends, because I heard this brush was really good. But I never use brushes. I'm always using beauty blenders. My skin's been so dry, I guess, because it's been colder. I have oily skin, naturally. That's why I like beauty blenders. Okay, this is definitely a lot more full coverage than I thought. Okay, I'm gonna, like, spread it out with this and then go on my beauty blender because I'm sure you can see, like, I hate how it's, like, you can see the brush marks on my face. Like, I hate that look. And I know if I blend it out more with the brush, it'll go away, but it's like, I do not have patience for that. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer in the shade Caramel. This is what everybody uses, like, for cream contour. I hope I got kind of the right shade. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. That literally blended so fast. Honestly, it just blended into nothing. I feel like I don't really see a difference. I wonder if that's how the Charlotte Tilbury one is. I mean, it looks good, you know? But like, I just kind of want something that has a little bit more coverage. But if you're a beginner to contour and cream contour, I think this would be really good for you because it's really easy to build it into like fuller coverage. It won't look too harsh if you apply too much. So I think that'll be really good for like beginners. But it looks pretty good though. Okay, and I'm also gonna try the Laura Mercier powder. I got this in like my little birthday gift from Sephora. I'm gonna try it with the Laura Mercier powder puff because I heard using powder puffs 
work so much better than like setting with the beauty blender. So what I see people usually do is they like fold it in half because it's pretty big and then they'll dip into the powder and then tap off the excess and then just go and set. This is before and this is after. I feel like it kind of looks the same as when I used a beauty blender, but I do see how it looks softer. And I feel like this is easier, honestly. Like, you would think it's harder because it's big, but I feel like this is easier. I also have this new Pretty Fresh um, pressed powder. So it's like the same line as the foundation. Set the rest of my face that um, I didn't put the translucent powder. I never use normal powder, but hopefully it'll make my makeup last longer. The next new product I'm using is the NYX Thick It Slick It. It's supposed to be like a thickening eyebrow gel, and I've seen it on TikTok, but um, you have to like kind of layer it on. And I feel like you already have to have like a good eyebrow shape for this, but it's not like you can fill it in. You know, you just kind of have to brush with your natural shape. I feel like it looks good. Before, after, before, after. But this is also my good eyebrow. So let's try it on her. I feel like this is good. It's thickening and it keeps your shape. And that was so easy. Like that took me what? A minute? Now, I'm going to use these new lashes. These are the House of Lashes um, Secret Collection in the style Good Karma. So I'm going to put these on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the final outfit per. I don't know if I'm going to end up wearing this hat because I feel like it's huge. I feel like it's so big on me. It's my dad's. And I don't have any cowboy hats. So I was like, oh, you got one? He has like 10,000, so I was like, mm, let's try this one, but it's really big. Anyways, these boots are my roommate's. She got them from Amazon. Literally so comfy. And the eyelashes, I put them on. I think they look good. They're kind of hard at first just because I haven't broken them in yet, but this is the look. On our way. <laughs> Oh, the vlog! Yep, the I vlog. can't believe I made it! Oh my god, I made it! Y'all made it. I just Her. made Held it. Held up a peace sign, that's so fucking There's weird. more on the way, we're just barely on the Best way. Best new member ever! Oh. <laughs> ever!
Today is day three of Fiesta, honestly, finally, because I am tired. But last night it was fun. I don't know if it's just me, but every single time I go to like a social event, I get so anxious like the day after. Like all day I've had really bad anxiety. Like it's not even like I feel sick or anything. It's just like my heart's been being so fast. And I'm like, I've been like shaking all day. I feel better now after I took a shower and everything. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who experiences that. But I just get so anxious after and thinking about everything. But whatever. My outfit was so cute yesterday though. I got so many compliments. I wish I took like more pictures. But um, today I'm thinking of wearing obviously red. I need to wear red. This like red um, mini dress. I wore it to my graduation party. My high school graduation party, which is so funny because, like, my grad party was like UH themed, obviously, and now like I'm wearing it to a UH event. Like, it's crazy how time literally goes by so fast. Oh, also, so I I'm doing my makeup with like the same products I did yesterday. I used this brush again because I used it yesterday, but I told you like I didn't like how it looked really like streaky, but I think it's because I had too much foundation on. So today I only put one pump. Yesterday I did a pump and a half and it looked a lot better and it didn't get in like dry at all Like honestly, I don't think my base has looked this good in a while Like it's probably my new base routine I used the eye bright concealer again today as well to see like if I could like manipulate it to work a little bit better So yesterday I used a beauty blender and it didn't show up at all But today I used this morphe 708 brush m708 brush and I just applied it right here, right here, and then all across the forehead, like, the same way. It looked so much better. Like, you could tell. I don't think you can really tell because it's kind of, like, overexposed. But, um, it looked a lot better when I was blending it out and a lot more pigmented. So, if you're thinking about getting that, definitely use a brush to blend it out and not a beauty blender. Okay, but y'all did not come here for a makeup tutorial. So, I will check in with y'all when I'm on my way to Fiesta. This is the day two outfit, the boots again, and this red dress. And I'm going to wear this bag. I didn't want to take a bag, but I'm going to be driving, so I have to carry my keys and my camera somewhere, and I don't have pockets. So, see y'all there. Hey, y'all. Hey. Kayla. She's a new member with me. Yes, of course. My favorite girl right here. No. We made it to TP. Finally, we waited like 30 minutes. <laughs>
Sunset in the back. Thank you. 